for today continues where we left off yesterday. It's part two of the if determined sums in trigonometry. They give us one clue. Cos 25 degrees equals K. So what this is this lesson from yesterday's lesson is yesterday we had a theta or a beta or an alpha. Today we have a specific degree. Where is 25 degrees on the Cartesian plane? On the, in the first quadrant. And we know it's 25 degrees. Cos equals K, but we know that sine, cos, and tan is always a fraction, so we have to write this as a fraction. In other words, it will be K over 1. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so the adjacent one is K, the hypotenuse is 1. Now we have to work out the y length, and we use Pythagoras. y squared equals 1 squared minus k squared. So y squared will be 1 minus k squared. I want y alone, so I have to get the square root on both sides square root of 1 minus k squared. And that is my length. Is y on the Cartesian play a positive or a negative length? Positive. positive. Therefore, y will be the positive square root. And you fill it in. 1 minus k squared. Now we can do our sum. Cos 155. Where is 155 degrees? Here, here at S, second quadrant. So I'm going to use my reduction formula. Cos of 180 minus 25 degrees. That gives me 155 degrees. Right. Now I have to determine the sine of cos in the second quadrant. What will it be? Negative. It will be a negative cos 25 degrees. And I already know what cos 25 is. It is k. Therefore, this answer will be negative k. Any questions up until now? Number B. Cos 50 degrees. Yeah, double angle. So this will be a cos 2 times 25 degrees. Magic. I love trick. And I love magic. Yes. <laughs> um, now I have to use my formula for a double angle cos function. With what will that be? Two cos squared minus one. Two cos squared twenty five degrees minus one. So the 2 I write as a fraction, you don't have to. The cos squared, I know cos 25 is k, so cos squared will be k squared minus 1. And then you get 2k squared minus 1.
Number C. Sign 25. I have to use my triangle now. Sign is opposite over hypotenuse, so it's the square root over 1, which will only be the square root. 1 minus k squared. Just to be thorough, k squared of oh, square root of 1, and that will be 1 minus k squared. Sign 50 degrees, what can we do there? Sign 2 bracket, double angle. Sign 2, 25. What is the formula for a double sign? Two sign twenty-five degrees times cos twenty-five degrees. It's two times sine twenty-five is number C's answer. So it's the square root of one minus k squared for cos twenty-five. They gave us as k. And now you just multiply everything, so it will be 2k square root 1 minus k squared. Do you also like trigonometry? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Can I carry on? Are there any questions so far? Number two. Sine 18 degrees is T. Now you have to determine where the 18 degrees lie. It's still in the first quadrant. So I draw my triangle there with my 18 degrees. The T I have to write as a fraction, so it's T over 1. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite 18 degrees is T, and the hypotenuse is 1. And I have to work out the X distance of the triangle, or the X length. So X squared equals... 1 squared minus t squared. x squared equals 1 minus t squared. You get the square root on both sides. x equals plus or minus square root 1 minus t squared. Look at your triangle. Will this x length be a positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Therefore, x will be the positive square root. And you fill it in on your diagram, 1 minus t squared. Now I have all the lengths, or all the side lengths of the triangle, and we can start with our sums. Cos 18. Cos is what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's square root 1 minus t squared over 1. And that is square root 1 minus t squared. Sign 78. Okay, we need... An 18 degree in the sum because we have a triangle with 18 degrees. So how can I transform this 78 including an 18 degrees? 60 plus 18. So I make it a compound angle. 60 
plus 18. And what is the formula for sine compound angles? Sine cos. Sine 60. Cos. 18. Sine sine. Cos 60. Sine 18. And now you substitute. Oh. I've got a special angle, 60 degrees. So you need to draw that special triangle with the 60 degrees in it. You're not allowed to use your calculator, and I will know when you use your calculator. So sine of 60 will be square root 3 over 2. Cos 18, we calculated in number A, so it will be square root of 1 minus t squared. Plus, cos 60 degrees, I need my triangle again, it will be adjacent over hypotenuse, that's a half. And sine 18 is t. I multiply a fraction with a square root, so this square root actually it stands on 1. So it's numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator, which will give me, um, I can't give you a number, square root 3 times the square root of 1 minus t squared all over 2 plus t over 2. Now I multiply this square root 3 into the square root in the middle and we get I can put these two fractions on the same denominator plus t. Let's look at number C. Sign 36. I have a triangle with 18 degrees. So how can I transform the 36 to include an 18 degrees? Double angle. This will be sine 2 times 18 degrees. And the formula for a double sign will be 2 sine 18 cos 18. It will be 2 sine 18, they gave us as t. Cos 18, we worked out in number a. So it's 1 minus t squared in a root. Now you just multiply everything. It's 2t square root 1 minus t squared. <coughs> Any questions up until here? Okay. Our last sum. Number D. Tan 198. Again, you must think I have a triangle with an 18 degree in it. 
I have 198 degrees. How can I use 18 degrees in tan 198? Yes. Tan of 180 plus 18. 180 plus is in the third quadrant. And tan is positive there, so this reduces to a positive tan 18 degrees. Now I want you to use the identity that you learned last year. Tan is sine over cos. So it's sine 18 over cos 18. We know what is sine 18, it's t. And cos 18, we worked out in number A as 1 minus t squared in a root. Um, you can go to the triangle and get the answer. I just wanted to show you an alternative one. Okay, so you can either do it this way. This way, I use my answers. If they're wrong, you have a problem. <laughs> but we work, we mark with error. Okay. All right. That concludes our lesson for today. Your homework. Is exercise five, page fourteen, on the notes. Number six to nine.